Crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. So this week, I want to show you my craft room, how we put it back together after the fire. Now, those of you that have not followed my channel before, you may not know this, but last March, unfortunately, we had a fire and I lost my craft room. The structure was still standing. I do have my craft room in a bay of our garage, and it was my husband and I's labor of love that we put together um, during that first summer of COVID. And I absolutely love my craft room. Unfortunately, on March 22nd, I lost the craft room to a fire. And so this is my craft room version 2.0. So when I originally went to rebuild the craft room, everyone said, Lisa, you can make any changes you want now. And I'm thinking, I just built the craft room. I have no changes I wanna make, but I did tweak it a little bit. So if you've already seen my craft room tour, you might wanna stick around and check out this version 2.0 and see what you think. I can't wait to share it with you. And I'll make sure I put links down below to most of the items that I used during my rebuild. So I just want to show you out of the tragedy of losing my craft room and all the contents, which I still to this day have not replaced, um, we were able to rebuild and I just love how it turned out. So please stay tuned. I'm going to get my camera angle changed and I'm going to meet you in the craft room and we're going to do a little tour. But hey, if this is your first time stopping by my channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button and don't forget click on click on the bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload new video. Now today's video is not a project, but I try to do that every Friday. So stay tuned for Craft Room Tour version 2.0. So hi crafters, I'm so excited to show you my Craft Room version 2.0. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just do a quick look around and then what I want to do is I am going to show you how I've got this set up in stations. So as we go through my craft room, as you can see, this door is coming from the outside. I'm lucky enough to have a bay of one of our, um, a bay in a shop um, of our garages. So I've got a three bay garage here and this is one. I've had some questions about how big my craft room is. So it is 16 by 26. So it's a good size craft room. So let's start out here. I like to set up my craft room in sections, okay? So this is what I call my heat press, my sublimation area. And I'll tell you in my old craft room, I had a Husky cabinet. And when I went to replace it, I found this big Husky cabinet, which I absolutely love. And what I love about it is I store all of my heat press or my sublimation supplies right here at my fingertips. It is just absolutely great. And this last, this bottom drawer is really cool because I've got lots of room for extra stuff. It's not the best organized right now, you guys, but you get the gist of it. The other thing that I've got a couple tools on here that I just love, and you guys are gonna see these throughout my craft room, is these tape measures. I picked these up at Amazon and I've got them all over the room because I don't know about you, but when you need to measure something and then you can't find that tape measure, these are so handy to have. My heat press I've got tucked up back in the corner, but when I do go to use it, I can pull it right out. So I really like that a lot. And there goes my Roomba. This is something that I thought was a must. I have my Roomba set up to go um, in the middle of the night. So when I come in in the morning, guess what? The vacuuming's all done. So that works out great. So along with my heat press, um, if you guys have seen any of my other tutorials, I've got this big roll of butcher paper. I used to use um, these little pieces for my heat press, right? Um, which work great. But then I discovered this big roll that I could use and this is so handy. Moving over, we've got my sublimation printer. Um, so this is what I use for all my sublimation. This is my Epson um, Workforce 7210. Works out great. I've got a drawer that's just got some paper and stuff in it for my sublimation. 
This is really cool though, you guys gotta see this. One thing you guys will see throughout my craft room is I've got garbage cans everywhere. And Lisa installed this one all by herself. So this is just a regular cabinet and I picked this up at um, Home Depot and it is just works out great and I just push it and look, you can't even tell it's a garbage can, so cool. So heat press sublimation area. The next area, just a second. I don't know why my panel is open, but let's go ahead and shut that. <laughs> Next area, this is my new area, you guys. So if you guys saw Craft Room version 1.0 um, before the fire I experienced last March, this used to be a garage door, okay? So when we decided to do the rebuild, one of the things that I didn't like about the old craft room, I absolutely loved it, except I could not see who was coming to my house, the comings and goings. And so we talked about, what about not putting the garage door back in, and I've got these two nice windows, which work out great. But what that also gave me is the opportunity to pick up new space for my sewing. So I was really excited about that. So um, after the fire happened, of course I had to replace all of my equipment. And I went over to our local sewing shop and I picked up my brother's sewing machine. It's the exact same sewing machine I had before. But guess what? When I picked it up, they had this unit on sale. And I absolutely love it. So let me show you why it's so cool. This is where I've got all of my thread. And so all of my thread is here. Now, one thing I did is I also decided to use it for all of my ribbon. So I have a new way to store all of my ribbon. I've also got my um, rulers all here. I love my command strips, so I've got my rulers. And then I've got some other extra ones, extra large ones tucked right in. So this unit is really cool. The other thing you guys will see throughout my craft room is I love my cutting mats. Okay, so I have those all over the place. Of course, I've got my serger, um, always, always using it. And then over here, this is just a unit that has got lots of drawers. Now, this is not organized as the best it can, you guys, but let me tell you, one of the things I wanna show you guys, I love these little um, plastic units, and I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. And I've got them all over the place, and they are great for organizing your drawers. The other one I'll show you is right here. I love this idea um, of using these guys, and this is another, this is either Dollar Tree or um, Walmart, but for my zippers. So just another idea of how to store some things. One of my most pinned Pinterest boards or ideas is my pressing pad. And I absolutely love this. I, I had to remake it. Of course, I lost my original one in the fire. So I'll make sure I put a link below on how I put together this pressing pad. The other thing that's really cool about this whole unit is this was built for a sewing table or sewing machine. So you can see my sewing machine is down in there and everything slides right in really nice. So absolutely love this area. So this is my new area, my sewing area. Lots of light. You can see I've got good lights up above um, throughout the craft room, and so it's really great for sewing, okay? So, we got the sublimation area, we got the sewing area. Then we're moving right along. This area, if you guys saw my last craft room, you're gonna say, wow, that looks just like it did before. Well, guess what? It actually is just like it was before. What isn't here, is a lot of the supplies, because I lost all my supplies in the fire. But I still have, this is my Cricut. Now, pre-fire, this was packed full of vinyl. I just haven't replaced all my vinyl. But I love hanging up my, um, my mats for my Cricut. And then I did purchase all of these pull-out drawers, and I just got these off of Amazon. I'm gonna try to put as many links down below for you guys as I can, but I just love being able to have the pullouts um, for that point. The other thing that I discovered after um, the, the fire was the container store. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen Home Edit, um, but these pullouts are great. And wait till you guys see my closet. You will see what I mean about using these pullout drawers, okay? So 
great storage there. The other thing you guys, and this, this was totally full pre-fire, but you can see I've got lots of room. I love using see-through tubs because that way you know what you've got in your craft room, okay? Down below here, I have those pull-outs again, and so it is just so handy. I can use good space. This is a trick that um, um, we put together for storing our vinyl. Actually, Michaelin, uh, my, uh, my camera person right now, is the one that came up with that idea that I just absolutely love. But it just gives me the ability to store things, and I'm not wasting space with these pull-outs. My drawers, I absolutely love. This is a lot like it was before. These are just all my little notions. I call this whole wall kind of my paper crafting, my Cricut, you know, all those type of things that you will use for Cricut. And you guys will see those little plastics um, um, pullouts from the Dollar Tree that I had. This drawer's a little messy. Um, and then up above, I just got... Um, lots of different things for, you know, from journals to cards. One, one thing you guys may notice here is I've got a lot of labeling, and I'm going to show you a trick on the other side of the room that I absolutely love. But I picked up this Brother P-Touch, and I love it. And what I love about it is I got it with clear, um, clear ribbon, I guess you would say. So it looks really nice. I think it looks really clean. So I like to label things. Then we're moving over here and I've got all my paper storage. You can, you'll see my drawers again that I talked about. I just love it. These are just little notions I would be using. My paper is here. And then I've got all of my markers, my pens, um, my mailing supplies, and some of my bags. So that's pretty much it for the whole Cricut side of the room. This is my office by day. Um, I am a banker three days a week, so I do need to have an office. So this is my office, but it's also where I sit down and do a lot of my designing and those type of things. Let's look in the closet, okay? Now, if you guys saw my craft room version 1.0, there was a big reclaimed wall here. We opted not to do it because we found these barn doors and we fell in love with them. The closet looks pretty much the same, except I replaced what I had just the white um, shelving in here. We picked up these metal shelves um, from Costco, and I absolutely love them. And then you guys will see I have got lots of storage here, and again, it's all the pull-out drawers, okay? So I can see what I've got here. I've got all my fabric. Now, my fabric, believe it or not, these are shoe boxes that I picked up up at Walmart. But I can still see all of my fabric and all of my colors, which I really love. And my plan, if you can get a corner view in here, you can see that I put in um, a corner unit also, and I've got a lot of my wood in there. And then the one thing I could not do without is my cute little mini fridge. Um, and my coffee pot. Now, some people think this is a microwave. This is actually a convection oven, and I use this for my sublimation. So um, this whole area um, just works out really well for it to be in here. And then this one is not the cleanest, you guys, but I, got, I, I discovered um, um, doing a lot of painting and art with glass, so I've got a lot of glass up here. And then my husband bought me a tool set or toolboxes, so I've got lots of tools there. So I've got my own tools so I don't get into his stuff. So I think I got it all covered in here. So let's go ahead and shut the garage door, or um, barn doors, not garage doors, Lisa. Okay, so this area is a little bit different than what it was with version 1.0. This was a long table. And what I decided to replace it with is drawers. So I have lots and lots of storage, you guys. Now, let's do a closer look here, Michael, and show them what I was talking about with the labels. I went ahead and labeled on all my drawers. Well, most of them. Some of the drawers don't have stuff in them yet. But what I like is I know this is where all my acrylic paint is. So I see I've got little organizers for, for my paint. And I've got some more paint and I've got some gloves up here, okay? So it works out really, really nice. 
This drawer always cracks me up. This was one of Mike Lynn's ideas. She said, Lisa, you need a Inspiration Friday project drawer. So whenever I'm out and about and I find something, guess what? Kind of looks like your junk drawer, but this is all different ideas of things I can do um, for crafting. Um, you guys will notice I've got another cutting mat here. I do a lot of my painting here. Um, I, I just find that I like to stand a lot um, and do a lot of painting. So this is an example of a watercolor that I had done. And I don't know if you guys noticed my sunflower up here on the wall. I'm very proud of it. Um, and I just had so much fun um, putting it together. Been playing with a few things for Christmas um, and a leftover from, um, from Halloween. So moving on down, you guys, I have got a laminator that I use and I just picked up this cinch. I don't know if you guys have ever used a cinch before, but it is to put together a binding and I've got all my binding supplies um, right here. And look, you guys, a whole bunch of those little containers that I can use in other other drawers. So um, what else do we got in here, Mike Lim? Oh, all my cutting boards. Yeah, I do. I've got a laser in the other room. And so I've got lots of cutting boards ready to go. I buy them. I price them what I would um, sell them for if I did a custom order for somebody. So got that stuff all in there. Of course, got my um, just regular printer. If you guys saw my very, very first craft room, this is my dad's file cabinet. I finally broke down and painted it white, but this is one memory that I have with my dad, so he's always with me in my craft room, so I just absolutely love it. The last piece of my craft room is my table. Now, my table has definitely changed um, from last time. Last time I had two long tables. Well, when we found the Husky unit, um, the tool chest, we found these Husky tables. And so we picked up four of them. Now, we did have a little snafu here. I want to do classes in this room. This is why I have this big island. And I'll tell you, here at the end, we thought this was super cool that I could have drawers here um, and these raise and lower, so I can definitely lower them down. But look, you guys, my stools survived the fire. So when they came back to me, we were excited to get them back. But guess what? Unless you got super skinny legs, there's nobody sitting at this end of the table. So before I do classes, I will definitely be um, um, removing these. But again, you guys, I've got another one of my tape measures here. Um, so I love this. The other thing that's hiding underneath the table is there's another garbage can. If I were to count my garbage cans, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five garbage cans um, in this room. And I think that really helps me keep it clean. Now, Michael's probably laughing as she's videoing me because she's seen what my room looks like when I'm in the middle of a project and everything's just right. But it really does help. To have, um, to have the garbage cans everywhere. So what am I forgetting? I think I've given you guys a great overview of my Happy Place version 2.0. So if you guys have any comments, any questions, please leave them down below. I'd love to answer them. I'm gonna try to put together as many links as I can of the things that I have used so you guys will have them. I'll re-put the measurements down of the room. But thanks so much for joining me for another Inspiration Friday, and I really hope you like this um, tour of my happy space.